Why are Indian farmers protesting? It's a question that has been reverberating globally, reaching the ears of everyone from ordinary citizens to international policymakers. The answer, like most socio-political issues, is quite complex and deeply rooted in the country's history and economy. In the heart of this issue are three controversial farm laws passed in September 2020. These laws were met with vehement opposition from farmers across India. The crux of the matter? The farmers fear that these laws would benefit private corporations at their expense, leaving them vulnerable to exploitation. For years, Indian farmers have been protected by a system of minimum support prices, a safety net that ensured they would receive a guaranteed price for their crops. The new laws, however, threaten to dismantle this system, leaving farmers at the mercy of free market forces. The farmers' outrage was not just about the laws themselves, but also about the manner in which they were passed. Many felt that they were not consulted or given a fair opportunity to voice their concerns before the laws were enacted. In response to these laws, farmers from across India took to the streets, marking one of the largest protests the country has ever seen. They demanded not only the repeal of the laws, but also a guaranteed minimum support price, the withdrawal of a draft electricity bill, and compensation for those who lost their lives during the protests. The protests caught global attention, with everyone from pop stars to climate activists voicing their support for the farmers. Among them was 22-year-old climate activist Disha Ravi, who was arrested for her involvement in creating an online toolkit to support the protesting farmers. Her arrest sparked criticism of the Indian government's handling of dissent and raised questions about the freedom of speech in the country. After a year of unyielding protests, in November 2021, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the repeal of the farm laws. However, this decision was met with skepticism by the farmers, who viewed it as a politically motivated move ahead of key state elections. They vowed to continue protesting until all their demands were met. To summarize, the Indian farmers' protests are about more than just a few controversial farm laws. They are a manifestation of deep-seated economic anxieties, a cry for fair representation, and a fight for the right to dissent. Whether or not their demands will be met remains to be seen. But one thing is clear, the farmers of India have shown the world the power of peaceful protest and the importance of standing up for one's rights.